Hey everyone, yes, and we are excited to our first travel to Georgia. We are here in Sharjah International Airport. But first things first, we have to change our local currencies in Georgia, which is a Larry, a Georgian Larry, that this is their money and it's beautiful. And we are here now in check-in area to check in our luggage. Then while we are still have some time to explore the airport because we still have time and we are going around but first we have to find out our food for the lunch before we get hangry. Well, now we are here heading to the airplane for boarding and our plane is Air Arabia and it's very comfortable. They have spacious seats even if it's economy. And this is my wife. She is so excited for this travel because this is her first time to travel outside the country from Dubai after a long period of time. And this is the time that we are going to enjoy Tbilisi here in Georgia. And our flight will be around 2 hours and 50 minutes. And here our journey begins. And here our excitement begins here in the capital of Georgia, Tbilisi. And we are here in the international airport going outside to the arrival area while we are looking for our travel guide which is the holiday factory. And here is Nino, our tour guide for this travel here in Georgia. And now we are here outside the airport while waiting for our bus going to our hotel. And this is our bus, it's spacious and it's good and it's really cold outside while we are waiting and we are on the way now to our hotel and while looking around we are everyone is excited and here is Nino explaining what is going on for the next few days like um, the location and the things that we are going to do in the different places here place to visit uh, what what to visit and this is it and this is their packages so now we are arrived here in Adamo hotel this is our hotel here in Georgia we are going to put our things inside first and before we go to a uh, fourth floor in the restaurant for our dinner and I really like the hotel room and fair enough for us to stay in but most of the time we are going to spend outside so it's fine and this is the view of our hotel on top of the restaurant and the first things I ordered is this kachapuri which is the famous and one of the traditional food here in Georgia this food is a bread that has cheese and egg on top of it and you are going to mix it if you are going to eat it and it's better to eat while it's hot and i really love bread and this is one of the most unique bread that i've ever tasted our next order is this of course pork and the flavor is rich of like natural taste it's it's a salt and pepper and there's a grilled potato and it's five out of five it's really nice and they are also giving you um, free wine on this restaurant which my wife really like here you go and this is our second day in Georgia and this is the view of our hotel in the morning we are exploring the area what we can see around and it's very pleasant temperature it's cold outside it's nice to walk it, it, it's good to walk outside during this kind of weather and for sure that you will enjoy the place if you're first time to visit this country like my wife she's enjoying roaming around the area because it's our first time here and the hotel have the winery so you can order your wine if you want to and this is the view of the hotel in the morning and it's very cold guys it's around 11 degrees 8 degrees outside so prepare yourself with the right clothing that you need to actually this hotel is serving 
breakfast daily and I, I really love their breakfast because this is totally different they are serving the uh, bread with cheese egg like in the other hotel but they have some uh, traditional Georgian recipes or uh, food every day is a different food in here and now we are here in our bus we are going to our first destination as our first day tour here in Georgia now we are heading to our first destination which is Mis Mitzketa if I pronounce it correctly and they are selling their local products they are free honey tasting and different kinds of food that is new to me but the taste is really really good gummy type of food and also they have a different kinds of dried fruits and vegetable in here that you can purchase with and their honey is organic honey that came from a different flowers and it has a health benefit according to the locals and our second stop is here in the bread making place which they are going to show you how they are uh, freshly baking the bread daily like this one and we tried this and I really like it it's crunchy outside and it's a bit um, gummy inside so you can eat this with uh, different types of uh, like sauce if you want to but you can eat the bread alone itself and it's hot crunchy and it's totally different from the one that you can see in other place this bread is really nice to pair with their homemade cheese and I really like the taste it's not too salty and it's pure natural and for sure if you try this one you will enjoy it so after filling our stomach we went here to the Bodbe monastery so this monastery is orthodox church and it's very beautiful there's a lot of lush green trees so of course we're roaming around this on the uh, side of the church and as you can see there's a good scenery with uh, mountains and also uh, people are having fun with the sceneries and here in Tbilisi they have the staple of persimmon so I really love persimmon it's very tasty and succulent so after that we went here to the 45 city of Signagi so as you can see this is like a postcard really amazing and beautiful place to visit and our tour guide Jella explained about these letters on the wall about the people who died there is a war and these are the names of the people who died as their tribute to those people this is the Great Wall of Georgia so if we have Great Wall of China also they have Great Wall of Georgia so this is, uh, we went through the golf car. So we paid here 20 gel. And then as you can see, this is the Great Wall of Georgia. So next stop is our winery. Hi. Stop is we went to winery. As you can see, this is a cha-cha. And this is tastes like vodka. So as you can see, there is bread also. And there, there is pickled vegetable on the side. So they eat that while drinking cha-cha. So over here, we have our teacher. So he is the one who is explaining different kinds of wine. So we have uh, red wine and white wine. Plus we have dry, semi-sweet and sweet wines. So he's uh, discussing different kinds. And also he is very entertaining and he is very funny so i learned a lot from him so i was able to purchase three bottles of uh red wine and two two red wine and one white wine so uh F fyi guys for your information if you're going by saudi air you have to bring per person four bottles of wines but if you are in Fly Dubai, you can buy five bottles of wines. So for us, since we are Air Arabia, so we bought only three. So uh, right now, we are here in Liberty Square. So this really, really good place. And as you can see, that uh, statue is made of gold. FYI, guys, that is made of gold. And uh, we went to the tunnel going on the other side. So we can check for some food as you can see this is the uh, souvenirs so we are walking around to find a good place to eat especially we really like to try Georgian cuisines so it's very cold and 
it's very nice to uh, roaming around by, to the city. And we went here to the Galleria Tbilisi just to buy some items. After we roam around within the Liberty Square, we found out that there's a street that there's a lot of different kinds of restaurants, bar, which you can eat. And here are time to eat dinner. So, of course, they are serving pork and we will try again the pork menu in their list. And we tried a Caesar salad and also their uh, sliced pork and their pepperoni pizza and it's really amazing taste, you know. Um, based on our experience here in Georgia, most of their restaurants serving quality food actually. And it's really tender. I like the pork, it's tender and juicy. The taste is so natural and um, also their fries is freshly from the potato and it's not frozen one and we enjoy our dinner here corner at Tabiosi. And welcome to the day three of our tour here in Georgia. Now we are heading to our transportation bus, heading to our next destination of the day and here is our tour guide explaining everything and this is the view of our way going to our first destination and it's really pleasant day today that you can enjoy everything around you and of course my wife is always sleeping on the trip every time as you can see these trucks on the side of the road they are waiting for the truck ban because they are uh, traveling to the neighboring countries like Russia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. And during our travel to our destination, we have encountered this group of sheep along the road, and it's really nice and beautiful. We are now here in our first destination, which is the reservoir here in Georgia, and it's so beautiful. And together with my wife, we are enjoying the sceneries, of course. Also, you can buy different kinds of products, local products in here. They are selling scarf, jacket, gloves, and everything, like including the food that you can try on. And this is the lake view, and it's really nice. And it's called here. You can also buy a different kinds of souvenirs, keychain. This is another place that we visited here in Georgia. While we are waiting for the other travelers, we've decided to explore the area market nearby here in the stopover and check out what they are selling like this food and it's really nice. I tried one and it's, tasty. and it's tasty. It has a walnut inside and a coated gummy outside. Now we are heading back to our bus and proceeding to the next destination. And finally, we've arrived here in Gudauri Mountain, here in Kazbegi. And as you can see in the background, there's a lot of snow in the mountain. Everyone is enjoying the cold weather. And this is the Friendship Monument here in Georgia. One of the famous places that you can visit. And everyone is excited.
and here's my wife she is enjoying the snow on the ground playing and of course it's been a long day for us and we are going to try out the famous shawarma here in the area they have fried chicken they have different kinds of sweets in here which I don't know what is that and it looks delicious actually and then after that we are going to book our taxi and this application is very handy for the tourist because it's easy for you just to download it and then that's it and of course we're not satisfied yet for the shawarma and we are heading now to the next restaurant which is Pasanori is serving a different kinds of local food here in Georgia like the Kenkali Kenkali is similar to the dumplings in Asia which has a different types of Kenkali here you can order the uh, we've tried the different types of Kenkali which is beef chicken they have cheese and vegetable the difference between the dumplings and kinkali the kinkali has a soup inside it's really like it's tasty and yeah just to satisfy our stomach for the rest of the day and we are done here again we are going to book our taxi heading back to our accommodation and again both is one of the best application that you can use to book your taxi around and it's very affordable actually if you pick up a taxi around just nearby in your location they will ask you to like 10 15 25 laris it depends on the location you are going to but if you use the bolt application it range around from four to 10 but most of the time it's around four to six laris only and yeah it's very affordable they have really good cars you can choose different types of cars actually and and we will end our day here and see you again tomorrow on our fourth day in georgia good morning everyone it's our fourth day here in Georgia. My wife and I decided to go to Mitzmenda Park, which is walking distance from our hotel. And it's a cold day morning here, and I really like to walk around. You can enjoy the weather. Actually, it's around three to four minutes walk from our hotel. You can purchase the ticket for only 10 laris for one way and 20 laris for two way going up and down. And now we are going to the tram. The trip going up to the park is around 3 to 5 minutes from the main entrance of the park. So we decided to sit at the back side of the tram so we can see the full 180 degrees of the view while going up in the park. Because this park is on top of the mountain, you can see the overlooking beauty of the city of Georgia in Tbilisi. After we explored the park, we decided to go back to the city, just explore the street and look for something that we can eat. While walking around, we saw a church and we decided to go inside of the church and going back to the street. And while we are walking on the street, we saw a market that you can buy a lot of things, a different kinds of things. There's a belt, bag, wallet, everything in here. We've decided to buy a leather wallet which is only like 40 laris each and I really like it. There's one vendor here selling a fresh pomegranate juice which my wife tried and I think it's very sour <laughs> actually. While we are exploring the city, we are here again in the Liberty Square and both of us feel hungry and we've decided to go back to Pasadori to try a different food for the second time. 
And then after that, we book a taxi again going back to our hotel accommodation to wait for the second part of the day which we're going to on our fourth day tour here in Georgia. And of course, Georgia has a lot of different churches in this place. Again and again, we visited churches for this part of the tour. And then after that, we had a dinner together with the other travelers and go around the city together with our tour guide and and we go inside the cable car going to the other side of the city and it has a really nice view actually and yeah this is the end of our fourth day here in georgia and see you on the fifth day good morning everyone since this is our last day here in georgia we still have some time to explore the area before our flight this afternoon and we found out that there's one cafe here near in Mitzminda Park, which is the Loka Polar. They have really nice person. We try one piece first and after that we really like it. We go back and take another couple of pieces of croissant so we can eat around while walking in the city. Then after that, we went to Nkora, which is one of the known supermarkets here in TBC. So we are going to check some goods or things that we can bring back to Dubai. Actually, we found out that there's a lot of local products here. There are sausages, ham, and we get some pieces. They have different kinds of products in here that we don't have in Dubai. Actually, there's a lot of sausages in Dubai, but these sausages is locally made here in Georgia. So we've tried out some of their sausages that's the only thing that we can bring in dubai then after that we check the time that we still have time to explore the area we decided to go to one of the biggest church here in tbc which is the holy trinity cathedral this is the church that you can see around the city especially in the evening because if you're in the high peak area of the city this is the church that glows yellow and it's visible everywhere and it's really nice to visit this kind of church then after that we feel hungry again we decided to go back to the place that we've tried the shawarma the local shawarma here in Tbilisi and of course we're full and uh, then after then after we took the shawarma now it's around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we are in the airport to check in our luggage. Then after that, we proceed to the immigration and we still have some time to explore the area. And here's my wife, she's still eating that croissant all day. She really like it. You must try this if you're going to visit Georgia. Luckily, on our last day here in Georgia, it's been raining all day and yeah it's a perfect weather condition in the past few days and it's our last day we are here in the airport and it's been raining since in the morning now it's time for boarding and it's time to rest and going back to dubai i hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you for watching guys and see you on our next travel bye